Böyle bir neyin tüyü Allah'ın yedi mi? Good evening. Okay. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. And you? Fine too. I'm, I'm okay. Thank you. Pretty well.
Yes, he is there. Yes, he. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine. Okay, you are fine. Okay, let me see how many people do we have now. I got 11. We are almost, almost done. Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla is there too. Hello, teacher. Do you listen to me? Hello, sir. Yes, it's car. I can listen. Okay. Laura, Laura, Laura is coming. Hi, teacher. Hello, Yesenia Bisset, Ana Beatriz, Wendy Maribel, Claudia Raquel, Ana Lilian Reyes. Is there two? Francis, Carlos Antonio, Ana Mariela, Adriana, Saira Larín, Francis, I'm not checking the attendance, I'm just I'm saying hello to everyone. Hello, teacher. <laughs> I'm saying hello. Okay, I guess you are ready to start, right? Okay, let me check out the tennis now. And we are going to start talking. about the new topic. How is the weather in your area? Hello? Yes, teacher. Nice. Yesterday. 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 In the, what happened yesterday? In the night. In the night. Or, or today in the morning. I don't remember. 
What happened? I see, I see the floor. <laughs> uh, no, today. Today, um, today in the morning. What happened? Tell me what happened. Weather. The weather? Weather, yes. Was really hot? Really hot. Really, really hot. Rain. Rain. Ah, you get it, rain? Yes. No, only weather. No, rain. Ah, okay. Yes. Rain in the morning and mm. weather. How was the Yesterday. weather? Really nice? Mm, I like. Okay, you love the weather. My my fav my favorite uh, weather. I prefer hot uh, um cold. <laughs> ah, okay, I got it. Yeah. Cold. I I wear I wear sweater and two sweaters and pants and socks it cold only cold only cold weather cool weather yeah school weather cool uh, I, I don't I don't like cold Ah, you don't you don't like it? No. My goodness. I prefer hot. You prefer hot. <laughs> yes. Ah, okay. We not prefer in my, summer. Not in my case. No. Not, not, not in my case. Not, not your case. Not in oh. my case. I love the cool weather. Oh. For the reason I I, I spend my <laughs> okay. vacation. I spend my vacation in the North Pole when I got the chance to do it. Only when I got the chance to do it. Yeah, I, I like to play in the snow, you know. You go, you go United States. <laughs> yes. Do you like? <laughs> yes, I love it. But I, but I've been also in, in South, South America. The weather is uh, tend to be kind of different. Yes, tropical. Yes. I've been in Colombia too. Ecuador. And I like it. Okay, let me get the attendance now. So please, I don't know why my computer is, it's kind of crazy, I don't know why. What's going on? Well, we are uh, almost in uh, close to finish. We miss only just two weeks in order to finish this module.
Good evening. Hello, sir. Welcome. We are still waiting for the attendance. I don't know why, what is happening here. It's not my, my internet service because I got a new one. Got the new service. Right now I got uh, more megas. More megas. Okay, Adriana del Carmen Medina. Present teacher. Are you there? Yes, okay, you are there. Uh, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Ana Mariela. Present teacher. Maria is there too. Uh, Escobar. Present. Ahí está Escobar. Claudia Raquel is there too. Francis. Always, Present. always, always. Jose Jonathan. Present. Eh, Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Hello, sir. Laura. Present teacher. María Concepción. María. Present teacher. Ah, oh, María is there. María Elena. Teacher, yo le acabo de decir present. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I, I, say, I said, I got it, I got it. Thank you. María Concepción. O María Elena. I got, I got confused. María Elena. My goodness. And what about María María Concepción? It's not here. Um, My goodness. No, creo que Ma, no. Mayra, Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Mayra is there too. Eh, Zaira Eliana. Zaira Eliana. No, ya no apareció. Eh, Zaira Marlene. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Eh, Santos Misael Cañas. Present teacher. Ahí está. Eh, Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. No, no está. Present teacher. Ah, he's there, he's there, he's there, he's there. He's there. <laughs> Creí que todo andaba de vacaciones. Go to, ¿no? go to the beach. No, 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 no. Ah, ok. Bueno. En Hawái 5-0. Jenny. The secret teacher. Jenny Suleima. It's not here, Jenny. Bueno, Jenny no está, Jenny. Eh, Yesenia Lisset, I saw Yesenia. Say hello. Present teacher. Ahí está, eso. Eh, Carlos Alberto Bautista, Aiso Bautista. Present teacher. And Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Ah, ahí está Mario. Okay, welcome to all of you. It is a pleasure to be here with all of you. As I told you, we are close to, to finish uh, this module. And we are... Uh, going to continue working. I invite you to continue studying because we are so close to finish. I know sometime uh, you need to learn a new vocabulary and that way you are going to understand what we are talking about. But you need to create your own vocabulary and that way you are going to use all those words in a conversation because that is the main purpose. And also, um, you need to keep in mind the words that you learned in the previous class. If I ask you, how many words do you remember about the last class that were new for you? What can you tell me about? Si yo le preguntase cuántas palabras nuevas aprendió en la clase anterior, ¿qué me diría usted?
no se oye padre let me check on my microphone uh, maybe i'm having a problem with my microphone and you you can hear me ah okay maybe because uh, yes, i'm going to use another one because I, I don't get any feedback any answer about my question Como no, como no me dan respuesta, quizás es porque mi micrófono is not working, it's out of order. And I need to buy a new one. Maybe it's that. No, no se oye, teacher. A este lado no se oye lo que usted está preguntando. No. Okay, Ana Lilian is laughing. Uh -huh. I know why you're laughing. Ana Lilian. Escucho, teacher, pero no me acuerdo ninguno. Ahí está. Esa es the reality. Okay, por eso les he venido diciendo, creen su propio vocabulario, lleven sus apuntes, términos nuevos, palabras nuevas para poderlas usar en cualquier proceso relacionado con los temas que hemos ido viendo. Que para algunos son nuevos, para otros no son nuevos. Así es esto. But we need to continue learning together. Okay, what, what do you remember about the last class? Let us start talking about that and I'm going to share with you uh, the new topic for today. It's going to be basic branding. I don't know what is happening to this computer. I, get, I want to get bigger. My goodness. Seriously. Okay, I got it there. This is a video conference number 16. We are going to talk about basic of branding. And based on that, um, I need that you talk a little bit about the, the previous class. Well. We, we were making a review uh, about the midterm, I remember. And what else do you remember? Yesenia, Lisa, tell me, what do you remember about the, the previous class? ¿Qué recuerda de, de, de la clase anterior, Yesenia? Mm, yes, teacher. We talk, we're talking about the advertising, maybe. Kind of, kind of, kind of, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry. Good evening, teacher. So, who's there? Maria. Maria Concepcion. Yes. Ah, I got you, I got you. Okay. What, what else do you remember about the previous class? Hello? No? Teacher, in the last class, uh, we make, uh, made a matching about of the product. Oh, okay. Uh, speak about uh, the space. Uh, Maturity, growth, reclaim, and the market introduction. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you. Let us talk about the, the question for today in order to start. The first activity is going to be uh, the first question. Why is it important to create a, a strong brand for a product? Microphone, please. Microphone. Uh, teacher, I think that it's important to create a strong brand. Could you, oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know, let me check up something here. Could, could you get closer to your microphone, please? Puede acercarse más al micrófono porque le estoy oyendo muy lejos. I don't know if only me. Okay, and I think uh, so that it's important create a strong brand because it's a uh, back to the product. A strong brand 
is important for the people to uh, accept the product to easy, to easy manner, I think so. In an easy way? Easy way, correct. Okay. Thank you, somebody else? Let me see your faces because I, I, I would like to see you. Okay, somebody else want to talk about this question? Now I can see you. What about the rest? They don't have the cameras on. Ah, okay. I've been telling you that you need to turn on your cameras. Y por control de calidad, esta instrucción está quedando grabada. Okay. Somebody else wants to answer the question? The brand is important because not only it is what makes a memorable impression on consumer, but it's allowing the customer in the client to know what they expect from your company. Okay. Thank you, somebody else. I know that you got the answer, but so please share it with me. We are so close to finish this module. Only just two weeks left. Try to do it, try to do it now. Because you are going to miss only just two more modules and you are going to be in advanced level. Yeah, of course. That means that you are going to be able to talk about different topics and you are not going to think so much in order to express your opinion and ideas. And that is the main purpose, that as soon as you see a question, you are going to be able to answer it. And there, um, maybe they are going to ask you direct question and you are going to answer it. Because you are able to do it. Okay, let us see people that uh, had the cameras off. Okay, let me see. What about um, Mayra Beralice? What do you think about that question? What can you tell me? Y después de Mayra le va a ayudar Juan Carlos. Y después de Juan Carlos le va a ayudar Francis. Ok, ya estoy asignando participaciones. No se oye. Ah, oh, we, are, we, we are having problems. With the microphone. Hello, are you there? I mentioned Teacher. different names. Teacher. Hello. Teacher, I acabo de llegar a la casa. I want to see your question. Question, ah, please. Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to show you. Okay, welcome to your house. Thank you. Bien llegada a su casa. Tome asiento. Siéntase cómoda. And don't worry, answer the questions. Okay, is there? 
why is it important to create a, a strong brand for a product? And the second one said, do you feel uh, identified with the brands that you represent? Yes or no? And why? Okay, but I want to see your faces. I'm sorry, I need to see your faces. Okay, Saira is the urgent, maybe it's working now. Okay. <clears throat> Ana Mariela is there too. Well, I mentioned some names and I'm still waiting for the answer of the question. Remember that is, it is a kind of mandatory that you need to participate in order that you can develop your skills. And if you are a, a skillful person, you are going to get more um, <clears throat> advantages about this. Pero no sé por qué los días lunes vienen así tan chai, tan callados. No sé qué les pasó el día de ayer. I don't know what happened yesterday. Maybe you went to the beach and you feel tired. I don't know. But what I want is that, that you share with me and with the rest of the class your ideas related with the question. And that way, if you are part of the class, you are going to feel in a different way. But if you just stay in front of your computer or cell phone and you don't participate, you are going to feel like a kind of tired and bored and I don't know what else. So please try to be part of the class. And I'm trying to, but I already mentioned some name and I'm still waiting the answer. And time and time and running and time and running. Okay, somebody else want to talk about this two question? Maybe just. Okay, Anna Lillian. It is important because it gives credibility and quality and experience. Uh, for example, para decir marca. The brand? The brand uh, Calvin Klein. For client, ah, ya me trabé, teacher, pero como que el, 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 el cliente no se refiere tanto al, al artículo, sino a la marca. Oh, okay, that means the client uh, take into account the brand, not the article. Okay. okay. Perfect, thank you. Somebody else want to talk about this? Se dan cuenta que you have a bright ideas about the topic. Lo que pasa es que no quieren, I don't know why you don't want to share, no será que, que no quieren que le roben las ideas, por eso no quieren compartirlas. Something is happening there. Exactly. Mi, mire, Laurita se está riendo, pero ella, ella dice, no, 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 me pueden copiar mis ideas. Okay, okay, teacher. Uh, branding is important because not only is it was made a memorable, memorable impression on, on consumer, but is a, if a lot your customer and client to know what to expect from your company. Okay. Okay, perfect. At the moment that you decide to buy, uh, for example, let us see, choose. What comes to your mind at the moment that you are going to take a decision that at the moment that you make your mind in order to buy a new pair of shoes, what do you think about it? Uh, quality, quality is uh, under, uh, price 
calidad sobre precio es lo que veo yo ah, cuando compro una, una marca. Quality under price. Under price. Okay, I got you. What about the rest? Ladies, if you decide to buy high heels, high heels, what do you think first? Maybe you look yourself in front of you how you are going to to, to walk wearing that kind of shoes. What comes to your mind? My case teacher, my case teacher I think in the comfort. Oh, in the comfort? Yes. That means that you are not going to buy high heels. Yes, but but the there is um, high heel comfort for the exactly. material. Okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. But that means if you think about the comfort, uh, you think in a special brand? Mm, no, uh, the mark is the mark famous mark. No, is comfort teacher. Okay, for that reason I'm asking you that. Por eso le pregunto que cuando habla de comodidad, si tiene alguna marca en la que piensa. No. Okay. Okay, thank you, somebody else. I have a brand. Comfortable okay. in high, high heel. Okay. Uh, it's Steve Madden. It's the only brand I think there are comfortable. Ah, in, high, in high heels. Could, could you repeat the brand, please? Still, I don't know, is Steve Madden or Steve May? I don't know how to pronounce. Okay. Somebody else? What about gentlemen? If you are going to buy shirts, do you have a special brand? No. Ah, entonces no compran la ropa ustedes. I know. Ah, I got you. I got you. Teacher. <laughs> okay, Misael, tell me. Uh, for example, for uh, formal shirt or for work. Yes, of course. Okay. I, pref I prefer. Um, uh, Branson in Manhattan. That's a really good brand. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Because of, I love how does the 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 shirt fits. Okay. Uh -huh. That's and also, cool. okay, okay, perfect. You use uh, a slim fit or loose fit? Uh, I have both of them. Okay. It depends. It depends on the situation and the occasion. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Because if we are going to use uh, the suit, it is necessary to, to use a slim fit. Oh, okay. That means on the moment that you are going to dress uh, casual, you are going to mix how you are going to use it, okay? What about the rest? And when, when ladies uh, go to buy purse, do you have a, a specific brand or not? Teacher, I, uh -huh, depends. Depends the occasion. <laughs> depends on what? If a dress for a lady or for what, for working. <laughs> yes, of course, I know that. The, uh, it is the same situation that we were talking with uh, Misael. But uh, imagine that you are going to a special event. Do you see in a special brand related with purse?
Ah, no quieren revelar los secretos. Ok, ok. No, no le escuché que, <ríe> que dijo. No, no, le, no le digo porque no se oye. No sé porque no se oye. We are having problem with, with the microphones. Ok, let us continue. Don't worry about it. Ok. Now I see. Okay, what about the second uh, the second question? Do you feel identified with the brand that you represent? Maybe some of you uh, represent a brand. Well, uh, I don't know how, how, how you sí, can... Excuse me? Yes, I feel identified with my brand that I represent. Okay, okay. Me too, teacher. Ah, excellent, excellent. Later on, we are going to know more, more about, about your brand that you represent. Okay, somebody else? Somebody right in here. Somebody else? Or the demás no se sienten identificados con la marca que representa. Yes, they can. Oh, yes, they can. I identify sus, with the brand. Sus I compañías lo van a saber. Uh, I represent <laughs> see each one the ambassador of the of on the brand. Ah, okay. Okay, let us continue because of the time. Okay, we got a conversation. Uh, we are going to read the conversation and to enter practicing it between Joshua and Amy. And said, I would like to create a brand for my environment, friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the one sold at the supermarket. Well, yes. That is a problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. Could you call them no brand? No brand has become a trend for some product in Japan and Korea. Okay. Korea. This is share conversation. So please try to read it and identify all the words that you consider that are difficult for you. And we are going to repeat it. And later on, we are going to practice. So please, I'm going to give you two minutes to read it and to identify all the words that you consider difficult for you. And then we are going to read again and you are going to practice. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Any questions so far from here? Hello. Hello. Teacher, please repeat that word, uh, the Josue. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly. Bikers. What? Diapers. Diapers. Yes. Do you know what is a diaper? Okay. Do, do you know what is a diaper? No. No? Pañales. Oh, are you married? Are you oh. married? Are you married or single? 
maybe single, right? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't worry about it. Teacher, ¿la puede ver otra vez la conversación? Excuse me. Por favor. Ana Lilian. Yes. Si lo puede Lilian. leer otra vez, por ah, favor. Okay, 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 okay. But uh, let, let me stop sharing. I'm going to get the, the books in order that you can see it very well. I'm going to show you the book. Okay, I'm going to go bigger this. Hold on a second. Lo vamos a hacer más grande en el libro. Okay, I guess you are going to see it better here. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to read again. Say it. I, I would like to create a brand for my environment from the diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarkets. Well, yes, that is a problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them No Brand. No Brand has become a trend for some product in Japan, in Korea. Okay. Any question about uh, a specific word? No, teacher. No? What about the rest? What about the rest? Not the chair. Anna Lillian, everything, everything is clear, Anna Lillian? Eh, teacher, la palabra esa de Emmy, hay una palabra que quisiera saber qué significa. Well, de, where is it? People, people are. En, la, en el segundo párrafo. Right here? Ahí, 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 en esa, I, I see de a, lot of, are. A, a lot of people are budging. Budging. ¿Qué, ¿Qué significa budging? Buy is comprar. En Bajin es comprando. Y, y environment. Environment es el medio ambiente. Oh. That is environment. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mayra Veralice. Any question? Mm, repeat the question, teacher. Do you have any question? No, no, teacher. Okay, perfect. Let me see, Maria Concepcion, what about you? Do you have any questions so far from here? No, teacher. Okay. Let me see somebody else. Uh, Adriana? No? No, teacher. No. Escobar? No, teacher. Thank you. Yesenia? No, teacher. Claudia? No, teacher. Michelle? No. Okay. Mario? No. Jonathan? No, teacher. Carlos Alberto, Juan Carlos, María Elena, Ana Mariela, Jenny. Okay. Let us do now. Okay. I'm going to read again the last time, and then you are going to practice with somebody else. Okay, send this way. I would like to create a brand for my environment friend 
friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the one sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua, but that sounds just that. And I can come up with any better idea. You could call them no brands. No brands has become a trend for sun products in Japan and Korea. Okay. You say that you don't have any questions so far. Okay, I'm going to start chatting. You are going to practice in the breakout room. Let me see, 20. I got 20 today. Okay. Nice. If I got 20, I need to have 10 breakout room. Pero por favor, cuando le llegue la invitación, acéptela para que no me deje solo al compañero, por favor. A mí me toca estar moviendo uno y otro porque algunos no aceptan la invitación. So, please. <coughs> oh, I forgot the time that I assigned. Okay, Mario, Carlo, Jose, Jonathan, and Mariela. So please accept the, the invitation.
I don't know why uh, some of you, uh, I've been seeing that you lost the connection at the moment that you get into the breakout room. I don't know why. No sé por qué algunos aparenta que pierden la conexión al momento de unirse a un breakout room. Okay, let me check out the attendance first. Déjeme checar primero eh, la asistencia para no interrumpirle al momento de a demandar. Hello. Cuando nos manda al ¿Cómo se llama eso? El room qué? Sí, el breakout room. El breakout room es raro que no me salga. Maybe connection teacher. Maybe it could be the connection, okay. Hay que aumentar las megas, por favor, hay que aumentar las megas. Claro, sale. Pero que no le pase así como Ana Lilia, que a ella eh, hay días que se la cortan, pues. Ella teacher, dice... si, aunque, si aunque aún uno aumente, si aumenta es el pago porque el internet es el mismo. Verdad que sí. Ok, Adriana. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Eh, Ana Mariela. Carlos Antonio. Claudia. Francis. Present teacher. Jose Jonathan. Present, Mr. Juan Carlos. Rivas, Juan Present. Carlos. Present. Ahí está Laura. Laura. Present Laura. teacher. Present. Ok, Laura, Carolina, María Concepción. Present teacher. Apareció eso. Eh, María Elena. Present teacher. Mayra Peralice. Present teacher. Zaira Eliana Recinos. Ya no. Zaira Marlene Larín. Is there? Present teacher. Oh, okay, thank, thank you. Uh, Santos Misael. Wendy. Present teacher. Wendy Maribel, thank you. Jenny, Present teacher. Jenny Suleima. Jenny, 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 no está. Yesenia Lisset. A Jenny la sacó el Inter, teacher. Present teacher. A Jenny Suleima. Sí. Pero, ¿Ya no apareció? Bueno, Jenny, si está por ahí, por Say hello, say hello. Pero si no está ahí, no diga hello. Okay. Yeah, I see different faces. Ahora ya les veo diferentes rostros, como ya vamos a tener un módulo. En mi teacher, te lo conquista. Y como ya vienen la vacation y los bonos y everything for the reason. Teacher, Bautista ahí está y creo que no le pasó el listado. ¿A Bautista? Let me see. Yes. Carlos Alberto Bautista, no, ahí está, checado ya. Okay. Yes, yes. Mario, uh, Mario was missing. Ahí está Mario. Pero... <laughs> Yes, okay. okay, let us let us uh, practice the conversation, please, and then we are going to uh, to see different uh, aspect of branding. Something that you need to take into account at the moment that you are going to to choose a brand to create your own brand and your own logo and everything. Ahí está conectándose otra vez. Eh, 
Jenny. Ahí está Jenny, mire. Hola, Jenny. Can you hear me? No. No me puede oír. Okay. Okay, let, let me choose the person, uh, the person that is going to start. And as soon as you hear your name, you are going to look for your partner. Okay, it's going to start with the conversation. Uh, Francis Elizabeth. Okay, okay. You, you can call okay. your partner. I don't know who is it. I would like to create a brand for me in vitamin free and diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the one sold at supermarket. So at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling the just ones, but that sound just bad, and I can't come out with any better idea. People can them, no brand, no brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, somebody else. Who's next, who's next? Misael. Okay. Okay. Misael and me. Misael, you are a hustler. Okay. Um, I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than get it, the one sold at the supermarket. Um, well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some product in Japan and Korea. Okay, thank you. Maria? Laura? Yes, Wendy. Okay, Laura teacher. and me? Okay. You, Jose, Jose? Pero, espérame que me voy a pasar a la... Ahí está. Mi, okay. Josué. Yes. Okay. Se oye. No sé si activé el micrófono. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diaper. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from your rider tank, tank getting the one sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some product and in Japan and in Korea. Finish it. In Korea, okay. What else? My Elena. Yeah. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are doing for your rather for getting the one sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is a problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad, and I can't come up with any better idea. You call them no brown, no brown. Has come a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you. And the last one, please. The last one, the last one. No, no, I. The 
Okay, that's it. Thank you. Let us continue. I'm going to share with you some information related with uh, with the brand. You already know when we talk about marketing, you got an idea about, about what I'm talking about, right? Okay. Um, okay, uh, let us see first. We talk about branding. Uh, let us take a look again about uh, the concept of marketing. When we talk about marketing, is how your business will control how the public views you. You can use marketing to build your brand. Do you want your product viewed as cool and new or classic and refined? It's up to you. But you need to take into account this aspect at the moment that you are going to create a new brand. So when we talk about marketing basics, uh, it based on level marketing is the process of determining the value of your goods or service and then effectively communicating it to your customer. You need to understand this to be effective, there are some things you will need to focus on, determine your target market, understand your four P's, and building a marketing strategy. And finally, you will need to constantly develop and revamp your marketing strategy. Okay, if you have in mind all this aspect, we can continue with the next step. But right there, uh, also mentioned that you need to have in mind the four P's. Somebody want to mention it? When I talk about four P's, I'm talking about what? Tell me. Let me see my microphone is not working. Yes, cut it is working. Are you still reading? Remember the second paragraph that there are some things you will need to focus on. The first one is that you need to determine your target markets. What is that? And also you need to understand the four P's. And you need to create, you need to build that a marketing strategy. And the last one, you need to develop and revamp your marketing strategy. If you keep in mind all, all uh, this aspect, it is going to be easy for you to, uh, to create a new brand but you need to, to know what we are talking about because uh, we are talking about the base of marketing. Any question about this slide? And remember marketing is the process of determining the value of your good or service and then effectively communicating it to your customer. 
that communication that you need to have with your customer is really important. But let us talk about your brand. Building a brand takes time and care. Your marketing strategy should always consider your brand. You wouldn't want to put time and effort into your brand to have a marketing campaign under it. Is that clear for you? Yes. Teacher, I have a question in the work. What is the effort? What is? What is meaning? Effort and good one to put time. This, this one? Yeah. To put effort. Effort, mm hmm To put time and effort. Poner el tiempo y el esfuerzo a una marca. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. What else? Okay, let us see this one and we are going to start right here a little bit. Why branding is important for your business? Okay, a major benefit of branding your business is, is the opportunity to create trust with your customer base. Branding makes your business recognizable and set a clear purpose and message. This helps your businesses. Your business stand out from other competitors. I guess it's really clear. But in your own words, can you tell me why branding is important for your business? Your own words. You can tell me. Con sus propias palabras, tell me why branding is important for your business. The branding teacher uh, is important for uh, because identify uh, the brand. Identify uh, the products. The products. Yes, y, uh, and easy, no, may easy, do easy. <laughs> y hace mejor, este, llega mejor al consumidor, <laughs> con customer. Okay. Because the quality of the product, teacher. Ah, you are talking about quality. Yes. Okay. Teacher, is okay. important for business growth? Continue, Maida. Oh, lo voy a repetir porque no sé si se me escucha. Is important for business growth. Ah, for business growth. Yes. Okay. okay, to expansion, to increase. Ah, okay. But maybe there is a a few reason. Es posible que también haya una una razón enorme del por qué el branding es importante. What could, could it be? ¿Por qué creen que será? Maybe for the visual teacher, because with the brand is a uh, different others. When you say, for example, Coca Cola is not saying Pepsi, is the brand. Okay, that means that uh, it is really important because people can recognize it easily, right? Yes. It's more easy for the people. Okay, 
two because tries to excuse me. May maybe to promote the product in the market. Ah, to promote to promote the product in the market. Yes. Ah, you are talking about one piece. What is that? In the question anterior. Si, sí, usted está hablando de una de las cuatro P. ¿Cuál es? ¿De las cuatro P? Ya la mencionó. One of the four P's you are talking about. Branding. Mm -hmm. Promotion. Una de las cuatro P. Ahí le dijo Yamaira. Promotion. Promotion. Okay, who wants to read this paragraph? Me, teacher. Okay. Teacher, yo no puedo, pero como nadie dice me, yo lo voy a leer. ¿Y qué estará pasando? ¿Por qué no quieren? <laughs> yo no sé por qué no quieren leer, pero vamos a hacer. I try, teacher. I create brand also help foster customer look loyally. Your company values are on full display. And customer who share similar values can quickly pick up on this. Customer are, are more liquid, likely to pick up business if they, they know what your brand stands for and what is brand to the table. I strong brand craft a uh, himper. Services value has is show your company expertise and ability to prove is quality work. The main idea of this paragraph is what? Tell me. Somebody else. The best of the brand, the, the customer have a, a clear idea of, uh, of any products or family. Okay, I'm going to read again. A clear brand also helps foster customer loyalty. Your company values are on full display. And customer who share similar values can quickly pick up on this. Customers are more likely to pick your business if they know what your brand stands for and what it brings to the table. I strong brand craft a higher perceived value of is show your company's expertise and ability to create high quality words. Okay, what, what is that? What is the meaning of this? It helps foster customer loyalty. What is the meaning of the word foster? Because a brand helps foster customer loyalty. What do you understand about the word foster? Hello? No idea? Comentar, Excuse me? Commentar. Ah, okay. In, in this case, according to the context, mm. a clear ban also helps foster customer loyalty. 
¿Qué pasa con la lealtad de los clientes? La marca, ¿qué es lo que hace? ¿Ayuda a qué? A fomentar. Ah, ok. A, a ser cliente fiel, en pocas palabras. Ah, ok. Your company values are on full display and customer who share similar values can quickly pick up on this. That means that they identify each other. Se identifican ambos. Ok. But uh, we got a question. Not, and not only a question, how to brand your business, how you are going to do it. Okay, the first step that you need to do is to identify your audience and who your buyers are. And based on that, uh, you are going to start thinking in how you are going to deal with this. But what does mean that you need to identify your audience and who your buyers are? We got another question, who are you trying to reach? It's important to have a customer base in mind when creating a brand for your business. At the moment that you are creating uh, a brand, you need to think about customers and you, you have to imagine that customer. And the second question, what do they look for? Who do they buy from? What do they need from your brand? In another word, you need to create a need in order that they buy your product. But remember, the first thing that you need to do is identify your audience and who your buyers are. As soon as you have that, you can continue with the process. But you need to identify. Remember, identify. Any questions so far from here? No? No. O será que se me durmieron? No, teacher. Ah, no, no se han dormido. No. Okay, somebody else, uh, help me to read. Somebody else, read and until uh, the periods. Alguien que me lea hasta el punto, por favor. Me teacher. You can conduct market research to understand market trends and customer preference, as well as get a gesture of competition. Competition. What do, we, what, what do we need to do in order to, to know the preferences of people? What do we need to do? You can kind of market research. What is that? I don't know. No sé si, si, si es mi ordenador el que falla, pero de repente vi un corte. No sé si ustedes lo vieron. No. 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 Ah, wow, let me. What do we need to do? We need to uh, make some research. Necesitamos hacer algunas investigaciones. In order to, to find the customer preferences, you know, as well as get a gauge of competition. Online resources like review sites and foreign array launching point and social media channel offer further insight into 
your potential audience and buyer opportunities. You can also connect with customer via calls or cyber to get a better graph on their wants and needs. All this will come in handy when branding your business since you will have a complete understanding of your audience and the greater markets. And in other words, right here, it is telling us again that we need to understand our audience, our customer. And based on that, we are going to do or continue with the next step. We need to take into account also the social media channels. We can use it in order that people can see our product and they are going easily to recognize our brand. Okay, what else can you tell me? The power went off in some places. And Mario is facing that situation now. Okay, remember. Okay, who wants to read this? <clears throat> the volunteer who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Remember, a value pro proposition is a brand promise. There's no need to flip it up and promise something untenable. Stay true to your business values and be confident in your product or service. A value proposition is your brand's time to shine. Okay, well, what is the meaning of that? Because say, I remember the value of proposition is a brand promise. What is that? And read the last line. Be confident in your product or service. A value proposition is your brand's time to shine. What is the meaning of that? If you promise something, you need, I don't know, how do you say complete? <laughs> to accomplish. Accomplish this Realize promise. Realize what you said. You, you, <clears throat> Uh, if if you don't accomplish, is a liar, and your clients uh, are not going to believe in you, right? They are not going to. They are not going to trust on you. Ah, okay. Nice. Let us see the next one. Okay, what about number three? Define your tone and brand values. What is that? I need that you read it. Try to participate. Wake up, wake up. Okay. Define your tone and brand values. Values, like values, values. 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 Como? Values. Values. Okay, continue. Um, with a dancing marker received in highly valuable branding your business requires some introspection. What is the company? What is your company purpose? Purpose. Purpose. And how will you Communicate this to your audience. Okay, hold on there. Okay, number three is to define your tone and brand values while audience and the market research is highlighted. Valuable, 
Branding your business requires some introspection. Do you know what is introspection? ¿Saben lo que es la introspección? No. Okay. It's when we see uh, not only just out of our mind, but we need to see inside. Una introspección es cuando no vemos hacia afuera, sino a nuestro interior. ¿Qué es lo que realmente está sucediendo? In this case, when we talk about companies, for that reason, I fear the question that is, what is your company's purpose? Tenemos que ver cuál es el propósito de la compañía and how will you communicate this to your audience? And based on that, you are going to create the brand in order to communicate the purpose. Okay, upline and commit to a sales values that your business will operate under. Consider what principles drive your business and make sure your business uh, live up to this principle and be transparent by communicating these values with your audience. Setting your brand values and tone will help build a strong relationship with your customer. Okay, we need to be transparent by communicating what we want to, to the audience. And in that way, uh, people are going to trust in the company. For that reason, said that we need to define the tone and brand's values. And that is important. And how can I tell you this? Imagine that you buy something. I, I don't know here, but in the United States, I remember that I bought something that I use uh, a kind of wrench to fix my car. And uh, let me see the brand was Krasmas, I guess. And I got a warranty of uh, for the whole life. Also, uh, of course, if I stay uh, there in, in, in the US and something happened, that one wrench uh, is not working properly or, or break it, uh, and I go to the company and they, they give me a new one. Ah, okay, it had to do with values. Because if they say, okay, if you buy it, you are going to have a warranty of the whole life, and they are, they are doing what they are saying. And that is the most important thing that we need to take into account. Is that clear? The number three? No? Okay, make a screenshot if you want. Okay, take a look at this. The brand tone define how your business will communicate and approach both existing and potential customer. That means that all depend on the way that you are going to create your brand, you are going to keep your existing and but also the new ones, customer. Present it to your business and it help your audience get to know your brand. At the moment, uh, as soon as somebody see your brand, are going to think something maybe could be positive or sometimes could be negative. Okay, what, what about number four? What, what is that? Build your brand asset. What is that? What is asset? Because this is the fourth step. Hello? Hello?
My microphone is not working again. No, it's there. Okay, who wants to read the paragraph? Me, teacher. Okay, read it, sir. Once you have a clear understanding of your brand values and your audience, it is time to build your brand um, assessed. Assessed, okay. These are items like your logo, slogan, colors, and fonts that are unique to your brand. This brand assessed will represent your business in a big, wide world. Make sure that are distinct and recognizable. Okay. What about the last paragraph? Brand colors, build brands, awareness, and associations. Different color trigger different emotion. And choosing the right brand color will determine how your audience will perceive and interact with your brand. Okay, based on this, I would like to have some example that you can uh, share with me because uh, right here we are talking about uh, logos, slogan, colors, and fonts, and different aspects that you can recognize it easily. As soon as you see it, you say, ah, they are talking about this. Okay. What can you tell me? What, what example can you, can you share with me related with this? There are a lot of product or brands that you can mention about it. But let me see the, the, the last one and later on you are going to start thinking in all this aspect. Okay, this is the last one. What, what, what is the meaning of that? Be consistent. Finally, take the time to apply this brand assets across all channel and be consistent. You can increase brand awareness through consistency, as your customer will more easily recognize your logo or color scheme. Building brand awareness is essential for smaller businesses who are just starting out. What, 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 what is the meaning of that? In your own words, tell me, what is that? Be consistent. Preguntar examen. Hello? What does mean? I feel you are sleeping. You are sleeping. That means that you need to keep a, a campaign. Uh, as soon as you maybe launch your product, you are going to keep in all channel, you are going to put your brand. And that way people are going to memorize the name, the shape, the color, and they are going to recognize it easily in the different places. Okay, now, uh -huh. now, excuse me. Teacher. Hello. Thing is uh, a strategy, not only the branch, and I don't know. Um, I don't know, political, um, in, in our country, all people recognize. Um, Golondrinos, que no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Pero o sea, no está solo en las marcas, pues, sino que en otras situaciones, ese marketing de impresionar con un, con ya sea el color o un logo o algo que llame la atención de la gente y que lo identifique con eso. Yes, Oscar, it is. That no sé is cómo, 
en inglés. I, I got your idea. I got your idea. But when you are talking about golondrinos, you are talking about uh, what's the name of that uh, political team that they used to call it that way? Ghana. Are you talking about Ghana? Yes. Because they, 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 they are called golondrinos. Yes. Your idea, teacher. <laughs> Ahora. Same, other or the same is equal. <laughs> ah, okay, but they got different colors and you can recognize it easily. As soon as you see it, they, you say, ah, this belongs to this one, this belongs to that one, you know? Yes. Um... Okay, right now, imagine that right now, uh, you have a product and I say, okay, uh, you need to create a brand. What you are going to think about? But, but, but first of all, uh, that you decide to do something like that, let us see some uh, specific that we know in our country, how you can identify it easily. Let us talk about McDonald's. What can you tell me about it? McDonald's, the clothes. <laughs> okay, could be, but also it, uh, as soon as you hear the word McDonald's, what do you, uh, what comes to your mind? ¿Qué es lo que llega a su mente a tan pronto eh, oye eso? Hamburger. Ah, and maybe you see your favorite one double cheese and I don't know what else do you prefer on it. Ah, okay. Fries. Ah, french fries too. What else? Sorry. Bueno, lo que tenemos en nada no para bueno, no, no probable. Pero a los que ya como Francia ya no les afecta. Porque ella ya fue a buscar el pollo. No yet, teacher. Uh, no yet, no yet. Is there okay? Uh, give me some example and how can you apply all these steps that I uh, mentioned? I, I would like to hear from you uh, that you tell me if you remember which one is the is the first one and and how we can apply it at the moment that we are going to build a brand. Remember that we need to take. Uh, time in order to do this. But another thing that we need to have clear is the importance of creating a brand. Well, okay, I, I would like to hear that somebody tell me which one is the first step at the moment that we are going to brand our business. What is the first thing that we need to do? if I ask you the same question, what's going on? My goodness. Okay. Tell me. What is the first step that we need to do? Let us see if you remember. Let us do a wrap up. Veamos que tanto comprendió. What is the first thing that we need to do? The first step that we need to do, what, what is that? Define you your tone. Excuse me, Mayra. Define your tone and brand values. The first step. Mm. Let us see somebody else. Let us see if, if it is the fair one. Identify the audience. Ah, okay. I creo right. que 
se le había equivocado una palabra. Me salté, a ese le puse una, teacher. <laughs> okay, but, but it's not defined. The, the, the keyword is... I... Identify. Identify, that is the first one. Okay. And uh, there are some questions related with this uh, process. I don't know if you remember it. All these questions start with WH word questions. In order to identify your audience and who your buyer are going to be, you need to ask some question. Do you remember it? What does your brother do? Okay, what else? Um, how much does your product cost? Um, where will you sell your product? How will you advertise the product? Okay, okay, I got, I got your point, but there are some, uh, some questions related with the identification of our audience. The first question is, uh, who are you trying to reach? What kind of person, what kind of client? When are you going to create your brand? What do they look for? Who do they buy from? What do they need for your brand? All those questions you need to keep in mind. Okay, what about the second? What is the second one? Do you remember it? The second one? What is it? Promotion teach. No, no promotion. Okay. What do you remember about? Let us talk about the second one. Second one, the second one. What is your what is your value proposition? And there you are going to keep in mind what the company has promised to its client. And also here you are going to uh, consider what is unique in your business. And also uh, some question like what does your customer want or need? How can your business meet their wants and needs? and why do customers choose your brand over competitors? Okay. What about number three? Do you remember? Hello? Hello?
Ah, you are there. What do you remember about the, uh, the third ones? Uh, teacher, defy your tongue, tongue and brand value. Ah, okay. Excellent. And what does mean? Eh, eh, di, di, no, <laughs> dirigido a uh, audience en market research investigation de, de, mar, de mercado, <laughs> algo oh, así. De hecho. Okay. <laughs> And there is a key question that we need to keep in mind at the moment that we are defining uh, our tone and brand values. What is the question? Uh, Depend what be your company purpose. Okay. Uh, and also how will you communicate this focus um, to your audience. Okay. Okay, okay. And what about number four? What do you remember about number four? Is building your brand assets. Okay. And that brand asset uh, will represent your business where? In a big wide world. And you need to be careful. Uh, you need to be sure they are distinct and recognizable everywhere. And also uh, has to do with color or something like that. And the last one, that is the number five. What is that? What do you remember about number five? The something, consistent something like the drop of water inside the, the, the stone. Yeah, you mentioned it. That means that uh, not only at the moment that you are going to launch a product, you are going to keep uh, talking about, about this product in, in different channel or in mass media. You need to keep doing it all the time that you want to stay in the markets. La consistencia. I don't know uh, if you have uh, heard or seen maybe an, an ad related with uh, Lejía Maxisol. Esa, esa Lejía Maxisol apareció hace mucho tiempo. Y ustedes van a oír que todavía le siguen dando. Y le siguen dando promoción para mantenerla en el mercado. Y esa es una marca. Give me another example related with that. Hello. Hello. The conflict the Kellogg's ah, is a brand that have a lot of years because I remember que when I um, when I was a child, ah. I eat Kellogg's and now. My daughter uh, eats Kellogg's again. <laughs> okay. And it is recognizable, right? At the moment that you go to the market and you see a lot of different, uh, you say, no, 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 I'm looking Kellogg's. No quiero otra marca, yo quiero el del gallo. 
and you recognize it called the rooster, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is specific aspect uh, are the one that you need to take into account at the moment that you are going to create your own brand. That had to be easily, not that people can remember it and keep the, the shape and different aspect. Okay, let us talk about a specific brand of ladies. Veamos alguna marca específica de algo que tengan las ladies y que lo reconocen así rápido. No van a querer compartir, ya van a ver. Hey, bon Level, Tyson. Oiga, oiga, Etica. oiga. Oiga, Liz. Y esto que va comenzando a abrir así el abanico de. <laughs> okay, what else? Chanel. Ah, okay. Gucci. Ah, Gucci. Okay, como que ya, ya van saliendo. Adriana, what about you? Mention one that you recognize easily in the market. The brand Michael that... Kors. <laughs> Michael Kors. Okay. Victoria's Secret. Victoria's Secret. My goodness. Okay. Y ustedes eh, tan pronto miran un producto y dicen, ah, no, es, es imitación. No es lo original. Why? Can you tell me why? Quality, teacher. The price, teacher. <laughs> price and quality. Mm. <laughs> But only remember that you just watching the product. How you recognize it that is it? Calidad, ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo reconoce a solo por ver lo que no es genuino? Es por la tela, teacher. Excuse me? Por la tela. Ah, okay. Digamos, es ropa interior de esa marca que acaban de decir. Por la tela. Ok, could be. Could be. Ah, entonces quiere decir que cuando se crea una marca tiene que ser. ¿Cómo? Quality teacher in the eh, sí, raw sí, pero, material. Sí, <risa> sí, yo entiendo esa parte, pero... Unique. Acordémonos que eh, al momento de ver el producto, tiene mucho que ver los colores, las Present. formas. ¿Ya? Something in specific. Yeah, something specific that is easily for everybody to recognize it. Yes, teacher. Okay. I detail you, I see. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Ahí lo dejo pensando en sus marcas favoritas y cómo la reconocen en medio de 100. Así. Ahí se quedan pensando, pensando, pensando. Let me check out the attendance now. Y como ahora todo tiene imitación, todo. You need to be careful about. Y a veces es mejor la imitación que el original. Es verdad. Yeah. Bueno. Yes. Yes. Así es de las mías. Ustedes saben. No nos gusta, no nos gusta gastar demasiado. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, hace poco compré unos, unos zapatos en MD que valen, valían 20 y algo de dólares. Sí. Me duraron quizás como un mes o un mes y medio y no me los ponía todos los días. Ah, y compré unos parecidos en el centro, así, literal, 10 dólares. Allá Cachada. tengo los zapatos. Cachada. 
No, no era cachada. Oh, ellos así leía. Era imitation, teacher, imitation. Ah, ok, ok. Y, y ya tienen quizás como unos seis, seis meses los zapatos buenos. Ah, ok. Entonces, por eso a veces, a veces en, es mejor. Entonces tienen las tres B. Yes. Bueno, bonito y barato. Yes. Ok. Adriana del Carmen. Present. Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present. Ana Mariela. Present. Carlos. Present. Claudia. Claudia, se me dormió. Present. Francis. Present teacher. Jonathan. Present. Ahí está Jonathan. Eh, Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Laura. Present teacher. María. Present teacher. María Elena. Present. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Zaira Eliana. Ya no. Eh, Marlene. Zaira. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Santo Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Jenny Suleimas tuvo problemas de conexión. Yesenia. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Mario Ernesto también estuvo, eh, tuvo problemas de conexión. Okay, eh, Zaira, Zaira is there, I guess. But it's busy now. Where is Zaira? I don't see Zaira here. Bueno, ahora le correspondía el uno a uno a Zaira. Pero no la veo por ningún lado. I heard she, she had some problem because parecía de oyente. Zaira Marlene y Larín. El número 16 de la lista. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. But before you go, antes de que se vayan, ya se me fueron. Por rato me quedo preocupado porque no les veo que participan. Y entonces, uh, eso no es bueno. I know that, uh, as I told you at the beginning, sometimes I know that uh, maybe the vocabulary is it's new for you, but I invite you to have a dictionary. That way you can look. A word that you uh, don't understand, you can look it up in the, in the dictionary and that way you are going to start using it. But I need your participation. Y la otra cosa es que ya como quedan dos semanas, los que ya faltaron, eh, traten de no hacerlo para que les dé el 80%. Sí. No, no se descuiden. Tratemos de, de estar ahí y de leer, por favor. Se trata de leer para ir comprendiendo. Yo sé, pero recordemos que este ya es el, un nivel intermedio, que estamos a dos pasos de llegar al nivel avanzado y eso implica que ya tenemos que tener más vocabulario relacionado con los temas. Por eso les digo, creen su propio vocabulario eh, de cada clase y de esa manera van a ir aumentando, aumentando y aumentando. Ok. Thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ah, pues sí, sí, oí. Claudia, <laughs> Claudia, everything fine, Claudia. Ya se fue, Claudia. 
Ok, María Elena sacó 10 en el, en el Mitchell, right? No me acuerdo por dónde me quedaba, Tiche. Pero es que, yo creo que sí, en el Mitre. Es que he estado sistematizando unas cosas del trabajo y. Entonces no, ajá, no. No me he metido a estudiar inglés, pero ya me voy a poner al día otra vez. <risa> ok. Thank you, Tiche. Ok, welcome. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.